everyone. Um, my name is Miss Elaine. I am Elaine Waterman. I'm the executive director at the Firehouse Art Center. And we are here today for a virtual kids art class. Um, I am in my house. Um, I actually was at the firehouse and ready to um, teach the class, but then I realized, oh my goodness, my computer is about to run out of batteries. So I uh, ran home and I apologize if you hear any banging because that is um, people doing construction. So it's just going to be a little bit loud. <laughs> but we're here to do another art class today and today we are going to be learning about cool and warm colors as well as drawing a sun and moon and painting um, a watercolor painting um, of the sun and moon. So we're going to be doing patterns. Um, we are going to be doing uh, wet on wet technique and also dry watercolor technique. Um, so there's a lot of things to learn in this and also it is a great introduction to our week of fun in the sun. Hi Joshua. Thank you so much Joshua for sending me in your pictures. I will make sure to post them on the Facebook page very soon. Uh, they were awesome. So you are doing some great work at home and I just wanted to say to everyone um, if you do uh, do the class and you uh, make some artwork at home using our online classes, send me your artwork. Uh, you can email them to me at elaine at firehouseart.org or you can uh, find the event that is related to the project that you finished and you can post the picture on the event page. Um, or if we're friends on Facebook, you can send them to me via Facebook and I will post them on the Firehouse Art Center Facebook page. Um, I always love seeing what you guys create. Um, you guys are the main reason that I love doing this. I love sharing art uh, with the kiddos and I love um, giving you guys uh, something to do during the day to create and to um, learn a couple of art techniques as well. So I am going to turn my screen down um, in just a second. Well, so. I just want to make sure everyone has their supplies first. Uh, so obviously you'll need paper. You, depending on um, how you draw, you might want a pencil. Uh, but I'm going to do most of my drawing with my oil pastels. So you can use oil pastels or you can use crayons. Totally up to you. Um, I have these oil pastels. If you have crayons, they work just as well. Um, the crayons are made out of wax uh, and these guys have oil in the content so they resist the watercolor and that is part of the technique that we're learning so um, whether you use crayons or oil pastels it'll work to resist the watercolor and um, we will be able to create the patterns of our Sun and our moon uh, using those tools, whether you use oil pastel or watercolor. And you'll obviously need paper, and I am extricating my paper from my sketchbook right now. And if you want to know what kind of paper you could use, you can use printer paper. Um, you just might have to iron it because it might buckle with the use of the watercolor. This one right here is just a uh, mixed media. So mixed media, multimedia, so um, you know, it kind of works well with anything wet, anything dry, and it works with a mix. So paper, brush, watercolor. You might need um, different watercolors. So I have both pan watercolors and liquid watercolors um, and your oil pastels. And I think we should be good to go. I'm gonna turn the screen down so you guys can see. I know I apologize for the loud, loud construction noises, um, but sometimes that's just how we gotta go. So, I'm gonna do it upside down like I usually do. Here's my sun and my moon. Um, the lesson today is about cool and warm colors. So when you think of cool colors, I want you guys to think about like cool temperatures. You might think of the water, you might think of green grass lying in the cool green grass and purples so think of dark nights anything cool 
Um, so those are the cool colors. Now, when you think of warm colors, you might think of fire, you might think of the sun, you might think of, um, you know, just colors that make you feel warm and cozy. And those are your warm colors. So just to kind of bring the idea home, our warm colors we're gonna use when we make our sun and our cool colors we're gonna use when we make our moon. So I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm gonna tell you the steps and we're gonna go through them one at a time. You're gonna take your piece of paper and you are going to fold it in half. So fold your paper in half. You don't have to make such a hard crease because it's really just a guideline because this is where um, our sun will turn into the moon. Okay, now I want you guys to Take a look at your piece of paper and I want you to imagine drawing a circle on your page with your finger. If you want, you can do it with a pencil. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just circle-ish. And it's a good idea to draw it with a pencil first just to get an idea. And I'm going to put that to the side. So now I have this circle on my piece of paper. I'm gonna take my oil pastel and I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna draw that circle, the whole thing. There we go, there is my circle. So on the left side of the paper is going to be the moon. On the right side is going to be the sun. Now, this is the line for the center of my page. I want you to go a little bit past that line to create the moon's nose, okay? So I'm gonna draw, so this is the center line right here. I'm gonna draw a line here and a line there, okay? So I'm gonna bring it up closer so it looks just like that, okay? And the reason I'm gonna do that is because we're gonna start a little bit past that center line we're gonna come back to the center. We're gonna poke out for the nose. We're gonna come back to the center and then we're gonna go a little bit past the line. So if you watch, I'm gonna use my finger to draw it. I'm gonna go this way, make the nose, come back to the center and then go back a little bit past, okay? So if you watch, watch first. Nose come back, and the point. So this is my moon, this is my sun, okay? I'm going to draw my smile, and then I'm going to draw the eyes, which are kind of like pointed, they're like ovals with points at the end. They kind of look like a football, just like that. I'm gonna add the iris, just as a circle inside the eyes. And I didn't do this for this one right here, but I'm gonna take my white crayon and I'm gonna fill in the white spaces of my eye. Cause I think it looks cool when you have the white there. Now you won't be able to see it very much um, on the screen. I'm gonna move it up closer. This part is what I filled in white the areas outside the iris, okay? Now, I am going to come back with my, um, my cool colors. Let's start with the moon first. So I'm gonna come back with my cool colors, and if you look at this drawing right here, you'll see that I have all these lines that go around the outside of my moon, just like that. And these are all made with my cool colors. So you might see the blue and the purple and the green, and those are the cool colors that I'm going to be using today. So I'm gonna take my green and I am going to move this so you guys can see all this stuff in the front. I am going to draw lines around my moon just like that. So I'm gonna do one green and I'm going to trade it for blue. Now I'm gonna do one blue. 
So I'm going to do a pattern of lines. And a pattern is just repeating elements to create a design. And the element I'm creating right now, element I'm using are these lines, and they're creating this repeating curved pattern. Now, I have my cool colors, my blue, my green, and my purple. I'm going to use them to make patterns within these repeating lines. So I might want to do, let's do wavy lines. So there's a wavy line right there. And I'll repeat it within that curve. Okay, so that's my first pattern. For this next one right here, I'm going to repeat a pattern of dots. And I'm still using all my cool colors. So that's blue, green, and purple. So I don't want to use red. I don't want to use orange. And I don't want to use yellow. I'm just using blue, green, and purple. Okay, so my next one I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a zigzag. So I'm going to do a zigzag pattern, just like that. And then I'm going to take my white again, and I'm just going to do dots. Now, hard to see white on a white piece of paper, but they're there. And when I paint over it with my watercolor, you'll be able to see it. And this last thing right here, I'm just going to do... I'll do a heart. Okay, so all my cool colors for the moon. I'm going to come back and I'm going to color in my moon's eye. I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to give my moon a green cheek circle right there. Okay. Now we're going to move over to our sun area. Now our sun area, we are going to use our warm colors for fun in the sun. So we want to think about all the colors that make us feel warm and cozy, like whether you're thinking of sunlight or whether you're thinking of, of flame, you'll see all of these colors in there. You'll see red, orange, and yellow. Now I know a lot of you like the color pink, and pink is a warm color, so I added it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and make my sun, but this time I am going to, instead of making these the repeating pattern of the C's and the lines and the stripes, I am going to repeat a pattern of lines going out. So these are radiating lines coming from a common center, and it's like the rays of the sun coming out. So I have red, and I'm going to do yellow stripes. I'm just going to keep repeating these over and over. And I apologize again for the construction sounds. I guess it kind of sounds like drums, which could be cool. Okay, so I got some yellow and I can't forget my orange, so I'm going to put some orange stripes in there. So once again, we're learning about the cool colors and the warm colors. And right now I'm using my warm colors to decorate the sun side of my drawing. And these are the cool colors on the moon side of my drawing. Now, just like I did the cheek with a cool color, I'm gonna do the cheek with a warm color on this side. You know what, I'm gonna do a red outline and I'm gonna color it in with pink. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. So warm colors cool colors. And I'm going to color in my 
eyeball for my son. Just like that. Now, I could be done at this point, but I'm going to fill in a little bit here. Um, I wanted to use more white. Now, white, when you draw with your oil pastel on the white paper, you don't see. But once you paint over it with your watercolor, you do. And I think it's such a cool um, revelation, like when you paint over it and then suddenly see the white pattern. Um, and I just think it looks really cool. It's one of my favorite parts in doing watercolor resist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white oil pastel and I'm going to do patterns within my moon and my sun face. Now I just want to do small things. I don't want to cover the whole thing, but for the moon, I'm going to do little star shapes because the moon comes out at night. So it makes sense to have little star shapes on the moon's face. And for the sun, I'm going to do little swirls. Um, so it's like, you know, the warm wind coming through during the summer. Okay. So once again, you can't see it very well. You might be able to, if I got really close and kind of tilted it, you might be able to see the white oil pastel showing through, but you can't really see it because it's white on white. Okay, so now I am done with all of my oil pastels. I am going to get out my watercolor. And as I said before, you can use liquid watercolors. And I always love using these guys. Um, the color is so intense and beautiful. So uh, if you get a chance to get these liquid watercolors and um, you, I think, will probably really enjoy it too. And it's a lot easier, I feel like. Um, pan watercolors work great too, and the best thing about pan watercolors is you can get a lot of variety in your colors, way more than you can with these liquid watercolors. But these are also great in teaching how to mix your colors, and I think I might do that today. So I'm going to get my watercolor brush. Now, I said we were going to learn the technique wet on wet. And that technique is painting using a wet medium, which watercolor is, on top of wet paper. So the first step of painting your drawing is, well, painting your painting, is we're going to take our brush, dip it in the water, and just water. Just water. Now my water is a little dirty because I had um, blue on my brush. But we're going to paint with just water on the moon, okay? just on the moon. We're going to start with our cool colors first and we're going to paint just on the moon. So just this area right here, not the area outside the moon. And we don't have to worry about um, painting around the oil pastel because that is what the oil pastel does. It resists the watercolor so you can just paint right over it just like this, okay? So don't take your time and paint around it. Paint right over it. Then you are going to dip your brush into your blue paint. If you are using your pan, you just wet your pan watercolor and make sure you get a little bit of blue paint on your brush. Now, I am going to paint with my blue right over that wet area. Now you'll see it spreads really nicely all where that water is. So if you look, I'm going to move it up closer. I'm going to touch it to the water area and you see how it spreads? That is the beauty of wet on wet. When you use wet, a wet medium on a wet surface, it spreads to wherever that wet surface has water, wherever that surface is wet. Okay. So you might start seeing where the white oil pastel was. And as it dries, you're going to see it a lot better. So if you look, you're starting to see the blue watercolor kind of um, bubble up over where the white is. So you'll see that one's a very clear asterisk, a, little, a very clear um, star shape. And these guys will start to come out more as the watercolor dries. Now, 
as I said, our cool colors are blue, green, and purple. So I'm actually going to mix purple on the paper. So how I do that is using just my three colors that I have for my liquid watercolors, my red, my yellow, and my blue, I have to pick two of those colors to make purple because it's a secondary color and you only need two colors to mix it. And those two colors are, let's see if you guys know it, can anyone guess? What colors do I mix to make purple? I mix blue and red. So I'm going to put some blue first, just like that. Now it's going to be a huge side of blue because I already had a blue moon. Oh, and you see those white dots coming up? Those were my pattern that I made um, using the white oil pastel first. So first blue and then red. And you get a very pretty purple. Okay, so this is a whole side using my cool colors. I've got blue, I've got green, and I've got purple now. Okay, so now we can move to our warm color side. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Now, if you look, I spilled a little bit of blue right there, so that might end up like kind of mixing in, so um, just to let you know. But we are going to, I think I'm gonna do, um, the sun's face in yellow and then I'm gonna dab that up that's where I had blue spilled just clean that up really quickly so as not to confuse you on the colors okay I'm gonna paint this first with just water and then I'm gonna paint the sun's face with yellow as I said before, don't worry about painting right over that oil pastel. It will resist the water. And there we go. I'm going to paint yellow right over top. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna paint this outside area with orange, but looking at my colors, all I have are yellow and red and blue. Now, if you have pan watercolors and you have an orange, you can go ahead and paint it orange right now. But if you only have your three primary colors and wanna mix orange, what colors do you think I mix to make orange? I know if you have, if you're a big kid and you've taken art class before, you might already know the answer to that. But I'm going to go ahead and paint some water and I'm going to show you which colors you need to mix together to make orange. And remember, these are all our warm colors. So we got to pick two warm colors to make our orange. And our two warm colors that we're gonna pick are, I'm gonna do yellow first, and the next color that I mix with the yellow to make orange is, let's see if you guys got it right, red, so watch this. So I'm gonna mix it, and red is a really strong color. So you don't need that much, so I'm not going to dip it, I'm just going to dip it once into the red and I'm going to mix it on top of my yellow and it's going to make orange. Okay, so as this dries, you see me waving my hand over it, the oil pastel pattern that we have underneath is going to come out more and you're going to see a lot more of the lines that we drew and the patterns that we made and let me pull up my drawing that i had from before so you'll see 
I don't have any white in this, and I think the white really shows up really well, and I love the way the white looks when it resists um, the watercolor. So, but you'll see more of the green and the red and all the other colors that you used with your crayon and your oil pastel once the painting starts to dry a little bit more. I'm gonna bring this up closer so you guys can actually see. So if you look, you'll start to see more of the stars coming out and the white of the eyes as the watercolor dries. So I'm gonna put this down. Don't pick up your painting while your painting's still wet or it might like drip all over the place. Um, I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit and I'm gonna turn the screen up and we are gonna talk about the supplies that you guys are gonna need for Thursday's class, because we're coming back Thursday at 1 p.m. for a multimedia, uh, multi-technique class, also about fun in the sun. So, turn the screen up, and hopefully you guys had fun painting your sun and moon, and you learned a little bit about um, warm and cool colors as well. So, as I was saying, your warm colors, thinking about the sun and being warm in the sun and having fun in the sun are your oranges, reds, pinks, and yellows, okay? And your cool colors, thinking about being in the cool water, maybe nighttime, your cool colors are your blues, purples, and greens. Now, if anyone remembers, how did we mix orange from our three primary colors? Because orange is a secondary color and can be mixed with the colors that you have as primary colors. So orange, we mixed yellow and red, and purple, we mixed red and blue. So that's how we got our secondary colors today as far as technique. Um, we also experimented with using wet on wet techniques, so a wet paper with a wet medium, which watercolor is, and you guys saw how the watercolor spread throughout the water that was on the paper already. Um, and we learned about watercolor resist. So the oil in the oil pastels or the wax in the crayons is what resisted um, the watercolor and the paper stayed white underneath. So we learned a lot today. Um, we painted our sun and moon for uh, fun in the sun week and for Thursday, we are going to be making another sun project, but this one we are gonna be using different kinds of techniques and different kinds of materials. We're gonna be using coffee filters, so make sure you get coffee filters um, for the class. Once again, if you don't have any coffee filters and you wanna stop by the firehouse, you can come pick some up um, from me at the firehouse. Just post in the uh, comments, Miss Elaine, I'm gonna need some coffee filters and I'll make sure to put them in a little baggie outside on the firehouse mailbox um, for you guys to pick up. Um, and you're also gonna need paper plates. So we're gonna make a sun with paper plates and coffee filters um, and they're gonna be cool sun catchers that you can actually hang in your window and the sun can come through and um, you can make all sorts of colorful patterns. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun making your cool and warm color sun and moon um, that you enjoyed drawing and painting with me. Um, as always, please share your drawings and your paintings. Um, you can either email it to me, elaine at firehouseart.org or post it on Facebook. I will put it on the Firehouse Facebook page um, and I love seeing your artworks or send it in. Hopefully I'll see you on Thursday for our next Fun in the Sun project. And if you would love to see our new exhibit, it is fantastic. I love it. Um, I was actually sad to leave the Firehouse because I just love looking at the new artwork that's up. Um, there's more information on our Firehouse Art uh, Center website. So <laughs> if you go to firehouseart.org, you're going to read all about our new exhibit. We're going to have second Friday um, happenings going on at 6.30 p.m. on Friday this week. Uh, so check that out on our Facebook page and also check it out on our website. Thanks again for coming. Um, sorry again for the construction noise. I promise that on Thursday I will be in the firehouse teaching the class and there will be none of the noise in the background. Um, but I will see you then. Bye, guys.